to check in with Brian Schofield. Yesterday you had been talking about potentially hitting 100 at oh, yeah. some point this week. Where do we stand? Yeah, on we that stand. Right now? <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty close today, and we're going to do it again uh, for tomorrow. Then that's all she wrote because then it's going to be about other things like rain. Like 80s, like everyone's waiting for those. Everyone's waiting for that fall feel. We got 90 today, 96 degrees, so have a little more time to get to that 100 degree threshold. Uh, here's your 13 first alert desert Doppler. A lot going on here that's going to be very interesting, especially over the couple, next couple of days. It looks dry now, but uh, once again, we're watching this. Now a Cat 3 hurricane down to the south. Boy, when they start juicing up and all this moisture and adding in that water vapor and gaining all that steam, uh, this could have a lot of moisture to work with when it gets up here and it'll get caught up in our flow and it still looks like that's the pattern and we have enough systems coming through enough little let's say energy to pull it up coming through the area that we could actually drag some of that moisture up and that's what we've been talking about for a couple of days. That's what we'll get out of the bar. We won't get the whole hurricane. We'll just get a remnant of it. But watch this. These are our spaghetti tracks which show uh, a possible forecast tracks of it. Most of them lead it into the southwest. So we have a pretty good shot at bringing in some added moisture to the tune of it could be an inch, could be more, could be less than that. I think um, our time frame on getting rain in the valley will be later on Monday into the overnight hours, Monday into Tuesday, and then back in probably by about Tuesday afternoon. So we'll have some breaks. We might not start off as a super soaker, but we could easily end off the day and evening as a super soaker Monday night and into Tuesday afternoon as well, uh, seeing a couple rounds, let's say, of good rainfall from that. So I hope it's good rainfall. I don't want it to be too heavy, but I, I know that we could be talking about some flooding as well. So we'll be watching that carefully. 100 for tomorrow. The last of the 100s for for a while because we're going to drop temperatures down over the weekend with some breezes and then next week you know potentially on a rain cool day these numbers could easily slide into the 70s we're not really selling 70s we're selling 80s but nevertheless that could easily happen if we have rain all day and tuesday looks like our big rain day but i'm still thinking overnight monday into tuesday and then like i said after maybe a little bit of a pause uh, we will throw it down probably tuesday afternoon with heavier bouts so we'll still do that and maybe a little lingering through wednesday as well before thursday we don't really recover that much so we might actually see some 70s on the board wouldn't that be interesting back to you guys